Hey guys, MTG Noob here, and I'm going to be bringing you pretty much a last installment of Standard before the Return to Ravnica release and pre-release and all that good money-grabbing cards kind of thing happens. So this week I chose to end the current Standard season with Solar Flare. Um, it's not the sexy Solar Flare list that runs Thrag Tusk because I felt like this list is just a little bit more streamlined. Um, first and foremost, we're playing 26 lands. You have two Cavern of Souls because you don't want to get your Sun Titans countered. You have your four Glacial Fortresses, four Dark Slick Shores, four Isolated Chapels, four Plains, two Islands, two Swamps, one Evolving Wilds just for fixing, and two Ghost Quarters, and finally a Miser's Drown Yard to just kind of win the control matchup and, and do things like that. It's also if they Ghost Quarter it, you can get it back with Sun Titan, which is pretty sexy. Okay, so let's talk about what the deck does and what it does well. First, it's a tap out control style deck. Um, you basically play Sun Titan and then you recur some of your one, two, or three drops. Now, what a very good and resilient combo in the deck is Sun Titan getting back a Phantasmal Image, copying a Sun Titan, getting back a Liliana or an Oblivion Ring that might have died, or a Ratchet Bomb against tokens. So the deck really does have a lot of game. It also has one of burial rights to kind of get this guy back, get this guy back. So there's a lot of things and interactions that can happen. Um, I'd say the deck's weakness is, you know, graveyard, hate, and a very, very fast clock. Um, okay, so let's talk about in order our curve. Playing two spell bombs to remove opposing uh, graveyards for the mirror match and pretty much for anything with Snapcaster in it also decent against zombies a dead weight just because it comes back with sun titan three phantasmal images to copy said sun titan it also is very good at copying opposing legendary creatures two ratchet bombs for tokens and things that are hard to deal with in the deck uh... good against like a bunch of one drops that just fall onto the table a doom blade a go for the throat just some spot removal four lingering souls this just buys you time to get to your late game or alchemy, you can dump things in in the yard, and then on burial rights it like you can dump an Elish Norn and on burial rights it. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Three Oblivion Ring just to deal with other Planeswalkers and other problematic permanents. Three Lili uh, excuse me, two Liliana of the Veil vale to just pretty much deal with uh, hexproof creatures gives you some late game. It gives you kind of like a fog effect, buys you some life if they want to attack it. Three Day of Judgments, just to sweep the board. A Gideon, because he acts as a creature, and he acts as removal, and he acts as a fog. Does all sorts of good stuff. One of Curse of Death's Hold. It's nice against token decks or weenie decks. If you can get it out, you really minimize their attack force, usually. Um, burial Rights, I already spoke of. You want to rebuy your bigger creatures. A Batter Skull to just help you get some life gain. You can also throw it on a Sun Titan for super damages or an Elish Norn. Be careful, you can't throw it on a Phantasmal Image. Three Sun Titan and one Elish Norn. So that's the main deck. Let's discuss the sideboard for a little bit. We have an extra Ghost Quarter just to bring in against Control and Problematic Lands. An extra Ratchet Bomb for tokens and small Weenie Rush type decks. Three Purge for primarily Zombies. Two Divine Offering for a Birthing Pod and Swords that might be a problem. Two Knight of Glory also for Zombies. It's something you can get back if they kill it with uh, Red Removal. One Timely Reinforcements to buy time against Aggro. A Sweeper, another Sweeper against Aggro another curse against aggro jace for the mirror slash other control decks as a two of and corn just because corn rocks okay so thanks for watching and please check out the mtgnoob.com and i will most certainly be bringing you some matches with the deck